all three of the things that we just mentioned, grace, faith, and works, all three of these things are involved in the salvation of man. Now, as proof of that, I want you to consider with me a passage of Scripture. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. The Bible says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Now friends, I learned from this passage that there are two sides to salvation. First, there is the divine side, and then there is the human side. Now, the divine side of salvation is grace. The human side of salvation is faith. And again, I want you to appreciate with me that the divine side, grace, is operative. It is grace that sent Jesus Christ John 1, 17. It is grace by which Jesus was crucified, Titus 3 and verse 7. Jesus Christ leaving heaven and becoming a human being, that was God's grace. God's grace is very operative. But I also want you to appreciate with me that our side, that is faith, must also be operative. Romans 16, 26 speaks about the commandment of God made, made known to all nations, and it says, for the obedience of faith. Galatians 5 and verse 6 speaks about the faith which works by love. Now what's the point? Faith works. It's the obedience of faith. The point I'm making is faith must be active. Faith must be operative. What do we mean by that? We simply mean faith has to do something. Faith is not just mental assent. Like God's grace is active, our faith must be active.